Across the sun-drenched savannas of Africa, a spectacle of speed and grace unfolds. The gazelle, an emblem of agility, leaps and bounds through the golden grass, a fleeting dance between life and the ever-present shadow of danger. Every sinew, every muscle, is tuned for survival in this vast, unforgiving landscape. So what exactly is a gazelle? Belonging to the antelope family, these slender, swift-footed animals are true icons of the wild. Their range extends from the sprawling plains of Africa to the arid landscapes of Asia and the Middle East. With their large, expressive eyes and distinctive lyre-shaped horns, they captivate all who witness them. But their beauty is more than just skin deep. It is a testament to millions of years of evolution, a design perfected for a life on the run. When the seasons turn, a primal instinct awakens across the herd. The mating season begins, a time of both courtship and conflict. Males, their hormones surging, engage in dramatic displays of dominance. They spar with their horns, clashing and pushing, not to inflict serious harm, but to establish a hierarchy. The strongest and most persistent males earn the right to mate, ensuring that only the best genes are passed on. Their courtship rituals are a delicate affair. A male will often follow a female, prancing and displaying his fitness, a behavior known as starting, until she accepts his advances. This is nature's grand tournament, where strength and stamina secure the future of the species. Following a successful mating, the female embarks on a gestation period, details that lasts around six months. This is a vulnerable time, as she must continue to forage and evade predators while carrying her developing young. When the moment of birth arrives, she seeks a secluded spot, away from the prying eyes of the herd and, more importantly, from predators. The birth is swift. The mother quickly cleans her newborn, a tiny, fragile fawn, severing the umbilical cord and consuming the afterbirth to eliminate any scent that might attract danger. This maternal instinct is immediate and powerful, the first crucial step in a long journey of care. For the first few weeks of its life, a baby gazelle, or fawn, is incredibly vulnerable. Its primary defense is not speed, but stealth. The mother will hide her fawn in tall grass or under a bush, returning only periodically to nurse it. This strategy, known as hiding, minimizes the scent trail, leading to the defenseless young. The fawn's spotted coat provides excellent camouflage, blending seamlessly with the dappled light of its surroundings. But this period of hiding is short-lived within just a few hours of birth. The fawn can stand, and in less than a day, it can run. This remarkable ability is vital. It must be ready to flee at a moment's notice, to join the herd and rely on the safety of numbers. The mother's calls guide it, her presence a constant source of comfort and protection. Gazelles are masters of the open country. Their preferred habitats are the vast grasslands and savannas, where they have room to run and can spot predators from a distance. These environments are subject to extreme fluctuations, from seasons of plenty to long, punishing droughts. Gazelles have adapted brilliantly. During dry spells, when water is scarce, they can obtain much of the moisture they need from the plants they eat. Their very physiology is built for endurance in arid conditions. But the open plains offer little place to hide for an adult. Their survival depends on constant vigilance and Jehovah collective awareness. The herd acts as a single entity, with hundreds of eyes and ears, scanning the horizon for any sign of a cheetah, lion, or hyena. When danger is spotted, a ripple of alarm spreads, and in an instant, the herd explodes into a blur of motion. The diet of a gazelle is simple yet effective. They are herbivores, browsers, and grazers, feeding primarily on grasses, leaves, and a variety of shrubs. This diet provides them with the energy needed for their high-speed lifestyle. They are selective feeders, often choosing the most nutritious parts of a plant. This dietary flexibility allows them to thrive in environments where food resources can be unpredictable. During the wet season, they feast on lush new growth. In the dry season, they switch to more fibrous, hardy plants. This adaptability is key to their resilience, enabling them to survive in some of the harshest climates on earth, where other grazers might struggle. In the grand tapestry of the savanna ecosystem, the gazelle plays a crucial role. As one of the most numerous herbivores, they are a primary food source for a wide array of predators, sustaining the carnivores that sit at the top of the food chain. Their grazing habits also help maintain the health of the grasslands. By trimming grasses and shrubs, they prevent any single plant species from dominating, promoting biodiversity and creating a mosaic of habitats that benefits countless other animals, from insects to birds. They are a vital link in the food web, a living conduit of energy, 
transferring it from the plants they eat to the predators that hunt them. Without the gazelle, the entire ecological balance of the savanna would be fundamentally altered. They are not just inhabitants of this world. They are its architects. The life of a gazelle is a story written on the wind, a perpetual motion of elegance and survival. From the tender moments of a fawn's first steps to the thundering spectacle of a herd in full flight, they embody the raw, untamed spirit of the wild. Their journey is a powerful reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the incredible resilience of life. If you've been moved by the story of the gazelle, don't forget to subscribe. Join us as we continue to explore the breathtaking stories our planet has to tell. Thanks for watching.